And this dough shouldn't be stiff, but you also don't want it to be too loose. So this is where I'm starting to really take note of what my dough looks like. I'm gonna stop the mixer and scrape the bowl down and just kind of get a better look at how my dough is looking. So the test that I do when my dough starts looking how it should to me, which is, um, again, just kind of a texture, textural thing that you need to get used to, it should stand up on my finger, but it also shouldn't seem so stiff that it doesn't bend over a little bit. I think that this one seems a little bit stiff because it's not bending like I want, but I, I think a whole another egg is actually gonna to be too much. So I'm gonna scramble one and I'm only gonna put half in. And then I'm gonna do that test again. All right, so I've scrambled that so that I can just put a little bit more into my mixing bowl. I just don't want this to get so wet that it's hard to work with and if it's too soft there's just more of a chance that your cream puffs are going to sink down after you take them out of the oven. So we'll get that completely incorporated. We're looking for a really nice smooth elastic dough. All right so we're ready to test this again. That last half of egg is fully incorporated. So just dab your finger. And now I can see that it's softened up a little bit and I'm getting more of that bird's beak look where it kind of was stiff, but then it bent over. So this looks really good to me. So I'm gonna stop there with the eggs and we're ready to put this into our piping bag.